Okay, I'm going to try, second try, at this math video. Another math does make sense video. Uh, I've noticed, uh, just looking at myself in this camera though, that you can tell I've been out in the sun playing tennis. It's a little odd, but it'll be all right. So this is a talk about the word function, a mathematical concept, an essential mathematical concept that can be quite meaningless to students. Perhaps never even considering that it's meaningless to them. But the word function, like all things in math, is there because it's so sensible. We all think of functions all the time. We don't often have formulas for functions. Students often say, what's the formula for that graph? I don't know. Most of the time we don't have formulas for things. We rarely encounter a formula in our own life, but we actually encounter functions all the time. The word function is just saying that there's a relationship between two quantities. Uh, in fact, uh, my example here, I'm going to use three quantities, which is more advanced than most math you see in the class. But it, it's simple. It's something we all understand, so there's no need to, to simplify the common sense version of it. It's just once you get into the formulas, it starts to get more complicated if you do what I'm doing here. So a function is a relationship between three quantities. One, the dependent, that is, it depends on the other two. Let's not get lost in these words. Let's just talk about common sense. I think about it all the time when I'm mowing the lawn. When you're mowing the lawn, it's hard to do anything. It's so loud and you're pushing, etc. You can sing to yourself. I tend to think about things and I tend to think about mowing the lawn. I tend to think, I wish I were done mowing the lawn. And I find that I can get done mowing the lawn much more easily if the grass will behave. I have, let's assume we're talking about my lawn and my lawn mower. So it's always the same lawn, it's always the same lawn mower. It takes longer for me to mow the lawn if it's been a long time because the grass is tall. That always causes problems. And worse, the grass might be wet. If it's tall and wet, then I'm going to have a very unpleasant time mowing the lawn. This is a function. This is simply the idea of a function. I'm saying the amount of time it takes to mow the lawn is a function of, is dependent on, the height of the grass and how wet the grass is. Now that's just me, I think about that because I'm mowing the stupid lawn. But if you think about yourself in every day, I'm sure you think about these all the time. Any kind of thing. <laughs> my happiness is a function of, etc. My chances of success in the math class are a function of. I mean, we do it all the time. We're always relating things. So let's connect it to the math class. That's the common sense. These things should make sense. Let's connect them the way we see them in the math class. So I've done it the mathematical way. I've written down in detail what my variables are. Y, time to mow the grass. I would measure that in minutes because that's usually 30, 40, uh, maybe 60 minutes to mow the grass. Depends on the height of the grass. That's H equals height of grass, which I would probably measure in inches, but hopefully not in feet. And then, uh, where's it go? W is the wetness of grass. Now, usually in the math class, you just have Y and X. See, he's complicated already. But the idea here is why the time takes to mow the grass depends on how high the grass is and how wet the grass is. Y is a function of H and W. Now, I need to move this up. There it is. There's that frightening notation. This is more complicated than what you see in the math class usually. Y equals F of X. This is Y equals F of HW. All it's saying is Y, time to mow the grass, is a function of height and wetness. That, that's all that sentence says to me. It says to me, if I want to know how long it takes to mow the grass, then I'm going to need to know both the height of the grass and the wetness of the grass. And if it's really wet, it's going to suck. And if it's really tall, it's going to suck. And if they're short and dry, then it's going to be fine. Y will be small. It will take me a little time. Let's pretend that somehow, ridiculously, we can come up with a formula to describe this. I mean, most likely you can't. But you could try some measurements, and I could try some measurements of my lawn and see how wet it is and so on. I don't even know how to measure wetness of grass. Moisture content, a very difficult thing to measure. Height I could do, but of course the height varies on my lawn from here to there. It's very complicated to really apply this. In the math class, we always do very simple things. But let's pretend we have a simple formula. Y equals 0.38 plus 0.7 W. Ooh, math. Yeah, this says the amount of time to mow the grass is going to be calculable. Calculatable. I can find it. If you tell me the height of the grass, say 10 inches, ooh, God, that'd be horrible. And the wetness of the grass, again, I don't really know what the measurement would be. Some kind of number that makes sense there. 
Uh, I can plug those numbers in and it would tell me the answer. So let's say H is 10 and W is 20, uh, whatever that means. Then I would take 0.3 times 10 and add 0.7 times 20, and that would tell me how long it was going to mow my grass in minutes. Uh, this is it's a fantasy. There's no way the function is that simple. This is a simple relationship. But this is what you encounter in the math class, and it should make sense. You should look at a formula and be able to see it just as common sensibly as you can in life and say, yeah, okay, I believe you. Mowing the grass does depend on how high the grass is, and yeah, it does depend on how wet it is. And, and from my formula, you should be able to see one more thing. Which one matters more, the height of the grass or the wetness? The point 0.3 compared to the point 0.7, the point 0.3 is smaller. The point 0.7 is saying there's more impact from the wetness of the grass than the height. Now, I made up that formula. That might not be true at all. That's just my impression. But the mathematics, the numbers, they make sense. All of this stuff has meaning. It makes sense. We wouldn't discuss functions if they weren't useful. I, I, I kind of have to just call myself on that. That's kind of a lie. Sometimes you find people are discussing stuff that aren't useful in the math class, like rationalizing the denominator. Wow, is that basically useless? But for the most part, mathematics is useful and commonsensical. And we want to connect these things, connect this common sense understanding into the math class so that then there's a point to it. And you know what's going on, and if you understand it, you can say to yourself, here's this formula, and it's kind of like mowing the lawn, you can decide whether it makes sense or not, and check your answer, and don't memorize a bunch of formulas that mean nothing.